Hello, myself Rahul and welcome to the Google Cloud course series. Now how this course is structured on the Google Cloud. So this course is structured and divided into the three categories. The first one is the absolute beginner category where I expect that an end viewer or a learner haven't used the Google Cloud at all. So that would be the first category where I will be targeting. So every topic which we will be picking up in this particular course, we will start from the scratch so that it doesn't need that you have a background or you have used the Google cloud in the past. The second category is the developing professional. So the ones who have already used the Google cloud, but still they don't have that confidence. They still want to clear out some concept and dig deeper into those topics, which will make them more comfortable working on the Google cloud. And the third one is the seasoned expert who are already working on a Google Cloud for a long time, but still they want to take an update on the different topics, clear out some quirks and the corner cases, which is very complex to understand, or maybe they have forgot since they have not used those services for a long time. But also keep in mind that this is the progression of this particular Google Cloud series. So anyone who wants to start, they can start from the chapter one and follow all the chapters. And anyone who is like an intermediate or expert can easily jump in between the topics because they have the understanding of the basics of a Google Cloud. So if you are a beginner, start from the chapter one and follow along all the chapters as you go. If you are intermediate and expert, then you can jump around the topics where you want to focus only on those topics where you need more understanding and more clarity. Now let's talk about the content structure of this particular Google Cloud course. So of course we are going to begin with the sign up process where we are going to take our fresh account and going to perform the sign up on the Google Cloud account. And after the sign up, then we are going to take a look on the further components. And these components of a Google Cloud services I have divided into the three category. And these three categories are, one is the compute, second is the storage, and third one is the network. So the compute where we will be touching upon like a virtual machine, cloud run, Kubernetes engine, cloud functions, so those where you deploy your application. The storage, which can be your database, which can be the cloud storage on a Google Cloud, where you store your static file, images, videos. And the third one is the networking, which is the glue between the storage and the compute. And that becomes a really important concept when you work with the Google Cloud. And in the networking section, we will be starting and focusing from the VPC subnet to the load balancing, to the DNS, to the cloud armor, uh, securing your Google Cloud. And all of these services will fall under the networking section. So these are the three major pillars which we will be discussing, we will be demoing in this particular Google Cloud series. So yes, it is a really long series and there will be lots of topics. Let's start with the sign up process for our Google Cloud account. So here you can see this is the home page of our Google Cloud. And here on the right hand side, you can find a sign in option where you can just register your account. And if you are already having some Google account, then you can perform the sign in as well. So let's assume that you don't have any Google Cloud account yet. So let's start with the sign up process. So here click on sign in option and here at the bottom you will find the option for a create account. So I'm going to click on that particular account and if you are already having that any other Google account then you can easily use that particular account as well. So here I'm going to choose the option for my personal use. Then here you need to enter the details. So I'm going to enter my first name and the last name, then click next. Here you need to enter the date of birth and here I'm going to choose my date of birth. And after that, few more details about gender, click next. And here it will ask for the email account through which you want to register for a Google Cloud. So here I'm going to enter my email address. And after that, I'm going to click next over here. And after that, it is going to send a verification mail onto your uh, registered email account. So from that email account, you need to verify your uh, Google Cloud account sign up process. So after a few seconds, I have received the confirmation code. I'm going to enter the confirmation code over here. Click on next. And here I need to enter the password to secure my account. So here I'm going to enter my account password 
and make sure to enter a really strong password because it is really necessary for you otherwise in case if your account is compromised then you might be getting a really heavy bills on your google cloud okay after this just click on next and here you need to enter the phone number so here i'm going to enter my phone number so i'll just uh, uh, pause for a second so that uh, i can hide my phone number after you have entered your mobile number then it is going to ask few more details about your aid experience and the content experience on the google cloud so i'm going to choose the step one over here it totally depends upon you and later on you can also change these settings and these settings are not so crucial for the google cloud it's just you about your experience then click on next over here and here it will be giving you some uh, terms and conditions so accept all after that click on confirm and if uh, here you can see privacy details so click on i agree and here you can see uh, your sign up process has been completed and on the top right corner if you see then you will find the option for a console and that will take you to the console of our Google Cloud. So after that, what you can do, you can just go and click on the console. And here you can see your account signup has been completed. And uh, hey, this is the welcome message. So I'm just going to click on I agree, email updates, and agree and continue. So this is the uh, like a default dashboard or the home page of your Google Cloud after the sign up. And here you can see you have received the three dollar three hundred credit uh, USD dollars for your uh, Google Cloud Cloud account usage. So that's you can use and uh, for experimenting and for the learning purposes. Since you are using the Google Cloud for the first time, then you have to claim your $300 credits and those $300 credits even if you consume it then you will not be charged unless and until you agree to continue and you supply your credit card information along with the Google Cloud platform. So here on the top right corner you can see uh, the start free. So if you are signing up for the first time then you can simply go over there and click on start free so that you can start using those $300 credit. So here you can see uh, this is the confirmation which it is going to take from you. So agree and continue. And here you need to enter a few more details and these details are like a contact information. So here you can enter the uh, like a basic detail about your name and organization if you are an organization or if you're just a simple like a, a personal person uh, or a personal user then you can just simply provide those details. After saving the personal detail, the next thing which we need to provide over here is the payment method. So here we need to add our payment method. So let's click on plus icon over here and here you can edit or add your credit card or debit card detail. But keep in mind that you will not be charged uh, once you expire your free credit. And after that, the Google Cloud is going to ask you if you want to continue, then it is going to charge on your debit and credit card. But to complete the sign up process, you need to add your personal credit card or debit card details to use the Google Cloud services. So I'm just going to key in these details. So I'm going to take a pause over here. And after that, we are going to continue. Once you have added your credit card or debit card detail, then after that, you can just simply click on the start free option over here. And after that, your sign up process should complete. So let's click on start and it will take a few seconds or a minute to complete this one. So I'll be back once this process is complete. All right, so now I have completed my uh, whole sign up process along with that I have also provided the basic uh, details of mine as well as the payment information. And here you can see I have the credits available for my use. And these credits will depend upon your country location since I'm based in Sweden. So it is representing into the Swedish kroner currency. But if you're based in any other location uh, from where you have done the sign up, then that similar currency will be reflected over here. But still those $300 uh, credits are we need to activate. So we have completed the sign up, but we have not activated to use those uh, uh, credits. So here just click on activate full account. So just click on this one and click on activate. 
and here you can see your account has been fully activated and now we can start uh, like uh, consuming the google cloud services uh, for our learning purposes